In this video, we will highlight some best practices and features you can use with Blackboard Tests. These features will help keep your test content secure and provide a smooth experience for students and you as a faculty. When you first create a test in your course, you'll have space here in the description and instructions box to detail the test guidelines and allowed resources. Type out what students can use for this test and let them know what's not allowed. Be specific. If your test allows calculators, specify which type, whether simple, scientific, or programmable. If students can use notes, detail if electronic notes are okay and how many pages are allowed. And if students aren't allowed any resources, make sure that is typed out here as well. When you deploy a test, you have many options available to you. Under Test Availability, check Yes to make the test link available to students. If you want to restrict the dates that students can see the test link, you can do that below with the Display After and Display Until feature, which I'll go over in a minute. Enable forced completion if your test is not password protected to limit students leaving an exam and coming back. When considering a timer for your test, set reasonable time limits that are similar to face-to-face -face classes. Tests should not exceed two hours and 45 minutes. Also, we recommend turning off the auto-submit feature. The student will still be notified when time expires, and you will see an asterisk in the Grade Center for students who exceeded the set time limit. Use the Display After and Display Until dates to control when students have access to the test. Students will only see the test link between the dates you set here. Enable a password to restrict access to the test. This is primarily used for proctor tests. With test availability exceptions, you can set certain exceptions per student. Use this feature to allow individual students to test early or late with your permission or to allow additional time for special accommodations. In the due date section, set the date that the test needs to be completed by. We recommend leaving the box unchecked for do not allow students to start the test if the due date has passed. If you do check this box, it will override any exceptions you made above and create access issues for those students. Further down, you will see the option to show test results to students. Consider how you want students to review their test. To keep details the most secure, release the reviews once all attempts have been graded or once the testing deadline has passed. Under Test Presentation, we recommend checking the box for randomized questions to create a unique ordering of questions for each student. For information on additional features and best practices, contact Academic Innovations and eLearning to speak with an instructional designer or the eLearning support team.